Hello. What's up, y'all? We're, We're back. back. Welcome to another episode of We Got Shit to Say, an Everyday Vibe. This is number four. Yeah, number four. Can you believe it, Amanda? Hey, we out here. We did that. Four? Look, we almost able to count it all in one hand. <laughs> Literally. I'm nah. Sorry. In case you don't know us, I'm one of your hosts, Amanda. I'm your other host, Kay. <laughs> and hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. We're, We're so, so excited, excited to be with you here today. We are. We got another great topic for you all. Um, if you haven't caught our drift yet, it seems like our first couple episodes have been centered around one big Theme. Yeah. <laughs> Entrepreneurship. Yes. Entrepreneurship. <laughs> so, I mean, look, to be a podcaster, in some ways you almost gotta be an entrepreneur. So it's just something like it's it's close and near and dear to our hearts because that's what we do. Yeah. But the flip side of that is we also got nine to five. So that's what we're here to talk about today. What does that look like? <laughs> so let me ask you, Kate, what does that look like? Like <laughs> genuinely like so you've been in your job for how long now? I've been in my current job for like a couple months. months. Okay, <laughs> bet. Congratulations. That's huge. Yeah. On the flip side of that, like, you're an entrepreneur. So, yes. I mean, and that's in itself, like, a full-time job also. So, like, what does that look like? How, how, how you do that? How you keeping the balls in the air, dog? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, I'm just kidding, y'all. Um, I mean, it's definitely very difficult. Um, it looks like a lot of like time management. Um, it looks like no sleep some days. Um, it looks like spurts of ideas. Um, you know, it looks like, you know, times where I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> because I'm so focused on my job um, because I have to have the seed money, right? You know, I have to be able to pay my bills to keep the lights on, um, the internet to to record, you know? So a lot of the times it looks like refocusing every month, you know, trying to remember what I did and what I didn't do um, to be better, you know, the next month. Um, but but definitely, definitely time management. What, what about you, Amanda? You, you talk about, about me. me. You, you got, got like five, five, ten businesses. businesses. <laughs> you got like, like twenty jobs. Don't like, come for me. <laughs> I do not send for you. Do not come for me. <laughs> she did send for me. <laughs> I simply asked you a great question to uplift you and let you talk about how you're so great. But now you're coming for me. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> it looks a little chaotic for me like to be completely honest it's a little chaotic um yes i have like a nine to five per se um and so i work for a corporate office of a company um that's one thing and then yeah it's also on the flip side of that being like a business owner and so um it's, it's a little crazy because at the same time like right now like i really am on um, if anybody's read Rich Dad, Poor Dad, I am on that side of the quadrant where it's like, you know, employee and then like self-employed. Like I'm still self-employed technically. Like, yes, like, you know, I'm a small business owner and like I'm an entrepreneur. And whatnot, but really that means like I'm self-employed. Like I don't have a team. If I don't work, it don't work. Like exactly. I am the work. <laughs> so, um, it's a lot. It's a lot. It definitely takes a lot of um, discipline, uh, really understanding discipline and getting some for yourself. It takes a lot of um, plotting and planning. Like I am huge on like, I have to write it all out. And then even after I write it all out, I have to then break that up because if I don't break it up, looking at the huge list that I have will overwhelm me to the point where like, I, I don't, I don't have like diagnosed anxiety. I've never been told that I have anxiety. I don't believe that I do, but if I, Whatever I feel in that moment when I look at that huge list, if that's what anxiety feel like, girl, it give me all of it. <laughs> like, it gives me a whole <laughs> dose of it. Um, and so really, it does look like um, setting priorities. Like, that's like the biggest thing, I think, for me is like having my priorities in order, knowing what's important to me um, and breaking down, you know, OK, this is my work time. But what can I get done during my work time, maybe? And like just really setting the priorities to get it all done, because 
Um, I got a I got a Wonder Woman complex, and I believe I can get it all done. So I'm out here trying to get it all done. <laughs> that, that part. part. Um, so, so like you said, it's chaotic, chaotic and, you and you have to decide, decide what's, what's important and what's not important. important. How do you do that? How do you scale, scale what to do first after you get off work or before you go to work? Um. So I've gotten really accustomed now to planning out my day the night before um, because I realized that really kind of like the next day starts the night before. Um, and so I've gotten really intentional about sitting down before I go to bed and like planning out what's going to happen the next day. Like, what am I going to work on? And sometimes even then I still make that list a little too long. And it's like, it's impossible to get all these things done in that day. So then even then it's about, okay, now I've taken what I think is like the most important and put it into this day. But even then I kind of have to evaluate that and like what's really important. And so I think, um, and this is not to like promote procrastination, but I'm a procrastinator for sure. And so sometimes I work best like under pressure, like when it's grind time, it's grind time. Um, and so I will choose the things that are like most imperative, like the deadline is coming up or like, I know that somebody's going to be asking me for it or about it because like, you know, whether it's like you, cause like we're working together on this or if it's like something that I'm doing like for like one of my clients and whatnot, like if I know I got to call nationwide, I got to call nationwide, <laughs> like, you know? Um, and I know that they, the hours are ahead of mine. So it's really just dictating, um, about what's coming up next and what is going to propel me and propel what I'm doing next. Um, that's what I kind of use anything else. I kind of leave it as like, okay, this is priority number 17, but it's still up there. <laughs> yeah. That's, That's good. good. That's, That's good. good. Um, what about you? How do you plot out? Do you have like a content calendar or anything that like sets your tone? Yeah. Um, definitely, definitely planning, planning the, the day before, before because, because eight o'clock I got to, I'm clocking in, mm -hmm. you know, I don't have time to do this and do that. I need to be on. Um, so, so yeah, planning, planning the night before, before. Uh, uh, I would say, say like, like creating the calendar, calendar, maybe like a week before the month ends. So to collect, creating the calendar, uh, for, for the next month, month you know, know, maybe like, like how many, like KPIs, KPIs like y'all and skills, like key performance, performance indicators, like, like what am I going to do in order to get this? Like how many posts do I need to make? Um, how many TikToks do I need? Like all of these things to set yourself up to be better. Um, and it takes time. You know, you still got to plan like for other life events. You know, because you're you're not just an entrepreneur. You know, you're not just a nine to fiver. You're a person. You got to eat. You got to watch. You know, like. You gotta do a lot of stuff. So, so yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely planning the night before, before. and, and getting it done, done and just implementing it. And, and you know, sometimes, sometimes I fall short, short and, and we all do. do. Um, but, but you know, just doing the best that you can, and you know, doing the the most meaningful things, um, the things that's gonna get you closest to money. You know, so if it's just like telling a few people about whatever you do, just so to see if they are gonna buy something, that's that's what you gotta do. Um, but yeah, I like mean, that's, that's pretty, pretty much how I try, try to set, set myself, myself up. up. Yeah, no, I, I can absolutely relate. Um, I, I've joked before that like if it ain't on my calendar, it didn't really make my my life. It's like, not a joke. <laughs> no, it's not like, a joke for her. I mean, low key, if I tell you yes to something, but like you didn't see me put it on my calendar, make sure I put it on my calendar because for real. Um, she can put that, that calendar out fast. Look, so, wait, and I, yeah, <laughs> and I never used to be that person, but for real, life has gotten so like, and I don't like. I know chaotic isn't like the greatest word because it's like, well, like who wants to like function in chaos? It's not how you. But like, in some ways, like I kind of like not thrive in chaos, but like just knowing that like I'm going, like something about that like just does something for me where it's like it just is like I just, I just gotta go. Like, I gotta get it yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So. Um, the calendar is really huge in my life now. Like <laughs> I need a calendar. Um, but outside of that, like it's, it's, how do I put this? <laughs> like the calendar is a huge thing for me and it's like putting it on my calendar, but it's also having some type of like 
almost like structure to my day. Like I know people love to be like spontaneous and like, they're like, well, like if I'm living like the same day or the same week, week to week to week and it's repetitive, that doesn't work for me. Um, I used to not think it worked for me, but like now in this season of my life where there's so much going on and like, I am like really like building businesses and like I have people like counting on me and it's not just me showing up for me, but it's showing up for other people as well. Um, it's really huge for me to kind of have that stability. So um, yeah, like I absolutely like, I know what I'm doing Monday after work. Like I know what I'm doing on Wednesday. Like I know the things that can be forfeited on certain days to get done and the things that can't, like I just, I know that and like having that kind of like outline for my day helps to then move forward through like the rest of the month and the weeks, you know? Yeah, that's good. I mean, having that like, you know, accountability, that just, that's crazy. You know, I, I have a calendar um, and I have reminders and stuff too. And that kind of keep me in line, you know, I'm a more spontaneous person. Um, and, and like an emotional, emotional person, person and kind of do things based on emotion. emotion. Um, so, so sometimes like, um, when I leave work, I, I'm, I'm tired, you know, and I work my butt off at work, y'all. Like, like I literally put in the work, um, because it's my seed money. And then I want to get to a place in my company right now where like eventually I can take out days at a time and I'm literally taking these days out because I'm, I'm, lining stuff up for my business you know i'm i'm actually being present um so i like literally be like working to like seven eight o'clock sometimes um but when i have a calendar i can see like okay damn i missed this damn i need to do this holding myself accountable because who else is gonna hold my hold me accountable you know, you know, I'm a, I'm the owner. owner. I'm, I'm the boss. boss. Right. I'm, I'm the employee. I'm, I'm the photographer. I'm the content creator. Like yep. when, when I'm at work, work I'm, I'm just an employee. An employee. So, so all I can do is my job, job. While, while my boss, boss holds me accountable. accountable. Mm-hmm. But when, when I'm my, I'm working, working for myself, I have to hold myself accountable. But if you don't take it seriously, or if you think it can wait, how are you? How are you showing up for your business? Um, and I mean, that's, that's for me too. You know, I'm not saying I'm the perfect business owner, um, cause we all fall short sometimes. Um, but yeah, setting up the calendar and writing things down. Um, I use a whiteboard too, just because sometimes like my calendar, like my phone is going off and you just swipe up on it. Right. Right. Just like an alarm. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, but, but I, I have a whiteboard that's just in front of my computer that I use, um, and I'll have stuff on there that needs to get done, and, and that helps me. It, it really does. And like, there's sometimes when the calendar is more like my friend than it is. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I try to get creative, write stuff down, get up in the morning, so I like really having a routine. Yeah. And like being okay with that, like Amanda said, like. Don't, don't nobody want to know what they're doing, doing five days, days from now and, and they got to follow that shit? Or they doing, doing the same thing for yeah. five days? Like, but those, those are the things that will make you successful. Yeah. Because, because you, you have to learn, learn a skill. skill. That's a skill to be disciplined, to follow that schedule. Um, you, you do it at work. Correct. You, you, gonna, you wake up at 6.30. You, you get, get in the shower, shower you brush your teeth, you wash your face, your face, you put your clothes on, you, you make your coffee, you get in your okay, car. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Maybe. <laughs> Half these people are remote nowadays. We don't we know, know what they're brushing their teeth. We don't know. Okay. No, <laughs> <laughs> they, oh. they, they, look, they clocked in with stank breath. And that's okay. Hey, hey, hey. Home, so. hey. <laughs> I work at home. I don't think we're going to see the first thing I do. Good morning. I'm dead. No, I got to drink my coffee. When you're remote, those are the options you get. Right? And so, yeah, no, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought I'd throw that out there. That's the last one in the bed. Look, look. Okay. 
That's hilarious. But that, let me like, so like you were saying, like accountability, right? That's a word that like low key is like a struggle for me. Like I almost like cringe at the word accountability. Um, and it's almost because like I hate it. Like, and I don't know what that is. Like, I don't know if that's just like a, Ooh, I'm a rebel just for kicks type of mood or what? But like, I hate like, it wrong wrong all that lately. lately. No, it has, and I almost like feel like I hate like almost like having to like answer to somebody else or like check in with somebody. And like, I'm starting to now see the value in accountability, but like, I still really struggle with that. I'm like, don't, and I guess in some ways too, like, I mean, because in general, to be an entrepreneur, you have to have a certain mindset around it. And so just like the discipline, everything we're talking about, like, that's also like really about a mindset. And like, if y'all haven't checked out our last episode, I think it's episode three, we did just talk about mindset. And so uh, check out three, if you haven't checked out four, come back to four and let it all tie in. (laughs) Um, If you ain't checked out three, your ass better leave and go to it and then come back. Yeah, (laughs) major facts, because there was straight fire in three, y'all, like, the look we put in some fire in three yeah. so just letting you know go check it out but um yeah, yeah like again entre- being an entrepreneur is a mindset like you were saying like you know we do this for these jobs we show up for these jobs and so that's the same thing about being an entrepreneur like it's really about showing up for yourself like betting on you showing up for your future because like all honesty like yeah like it's great to be like oh i'm an entrepreneur and i self-made and business owner x y and z and all these titles that people love but like i've never been really like hung up or caught up on a title it is what it is like i care about like who i am and the work they said start a business they said (laughs) it'll be fun they said exactly correct and so outside of the titles like you got to remember what you're working for and i think that's the thing sometimes like we know when we have our nine to fives like we're working for like our paychecks right like we're working for our paychecks a lot of times we don't really care we don't have like a loyalty to our boss but we know our boss is our boss so we gotta you know make sure we answer to and whatever but, yeah exactly but there's no like real loyalty there when you're an entrepreneur like i feel like that's just a level of loyalty to yourself you know like you gotta know your why. you gotta have like really your vision yes. and don't know that like what you're working towards like i'm working to create generational wealth I don't know how many kids I'm gonna have. I know how many I want to have, but I don't know how many I'm gonna have. And like, I just want them to be set up. Like, I mean, this is no shade to all these other races, but other races set their kids up, right? They be ready, like out the womb. And literally, y'all, because I'm a financial advisor, so I'm gonna let y'all know, like, on game for real. Your kid can be two weeks old. The minute they get their social security number issued to them, you can set them up with what we call a million dollar baby policy. Your kids can be millionaires for the hundred and thirty, but you gotta set them up. Everybody else know this. The average person don't know this. So, wow. in case, like, you can set up your future. So, you got to remember what you're working towards. And, like, I have no problem with a nine to five because I got one. I had two on top of trying to be a business owner. I used to work two jobs, have units, 16 units in school, and was trying to build something, right? Girl. I was tired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know, None. You know, None. Exactly. Just, come on now. No. It's know, a mindset. Somebody, yeah, somebody, somebody got a little work. You know, somebody, somebody got to provide the services, services that we need, you know, as consumers, consumers or we want as consumers, consumers you, know, you know, and that's fine, fine you, know, you know, but we're just saying, saying like, when, when you choose, choose to be an entrepreneur and work a nine to five, you got to have a level of accountability. Yeah. And who's so going to put, put that, that in place for you? So, so um, do, do you have, have a mentor, Amanda? Like, like, who do you go to? Do you have a accountability partner? Yeah, actually, I, I mean, mentorship has been huge for me this year. This is, like, my first year of saying that, like, you know, like, I really have a mentor. Um, and so, shout out to, like, my top two mentors, Lester and Kirsten Barron. Um, in my finance business, they are, like, giants. They are giants in my company. And to be under them is, like, a true blessing. And, like, I know sometimes they probably feel like I don't, like, hear them. But I do. Like, I hear them. And, like, I genuinely know like they have belief in me. Like I, I absolutely appreciate everything that they pour into me. Um, but you know, sometimes it really is like people can <clears throat> love on you and boast on you all day, but if you don't believe it for you, you're not going to do much with it. And so that's kind of like the place I was in, but yeah, Lester and Kirsten are instrumental in my life as my mentors. Um, uh, also started really listening to and like having like fully invested in mentorship under him, but I've worked with them a couple of times. Um, uh, Dr. Charles Dorsey, um, he's amazing. Um, as of right now, working with an amazing mentor and coach, Brendan Boyd, straight fire. Shout out to Coach B. Hey, you would not be here if 
Look, the yeah. game has completely changed under him, y'all. Yeah. Like, literally, when I say invest in yourself and yeah. invest in some good mentorship, yeah. like, you might want to start. You might want to start with Brendan. Hey. Like, yo, that boy, boy, woo! Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. So, uh, yeah, I definitely do have some mentors that have been instrumental in just the very shift this year. This year has been a very big instrumental shift for me all across the board in every avenue of my life. Um, so I'm grateful for that. But it's a lot because change. I've always been one of those people that's like. I hate change. I'm it a it. Like it's terrible to me, but I've learned to get uncomfortable in it. So uh, it's been cool. It's been it's been dope. Uh, what about you, mentors? People you look up to, follow? Yeah, um, definitely. You know, we on this. Uh, we in this. Uh, this group, Red Boy. It's amazing. Um, it's just crazy how. We, we wanted to start, start the podcast, podcast and then uh, Amanda told me, told me about it. it. We had a meeting, got, got on board, board, you know, and he's literally, literally been holding us accountable. Um, the, the first thing he did was, was like a 30 day challenge, like, you, <laughs> you know, know, content creation. And that, that just jumped everything off, you, you know, set fire under you. Like, you got to go for it. Um, and just like his teachings and like, um, just, just get, get it done. done, you know, just, just like, like do it. it. What, what, what you wait for? You know, like the project is like, what are you doing? Imperfect action, it don't matter, but take some action. Hey, action. Boom. You know, yeah, um, and that's, and that's, that's what, what I, I love about that. that. Um, there's, there's a, a lot, lot of people, people that I look up to and that kind of got me, um, they kind of keep keep me going when I see, um, I got a good friend, Curtis of Thomas, like. Um, she's, she's a, a brand strategist. strategist. She, she does, does a lot, lot of things, things like, like a serial entrepreneur, entrepreneur like crazy. Um, just some other people, people like, that like that I admire, here like here in the LA area. area. Like, uh, that I don't watch all the time. Like, you got Jessica with the Fashion Entrepreneur Academy. Um, you got Brittany with the Fashion Mentor. Like, you know, just those people, they like literally show up and they are accountable and they hold other people accountable. Um, and just watching black women like that and black people in general like that show up, um, with all those three people, those three women that I listed, they're all black women. Um, and I believe in like seeing people that look like you, yeah, or or being like, yeah, it matters, it matters because I feel like we all come from a the, the same, same place, place in a sense, sense, you know, and so, so like, it just, just kind of makes me say, say like, if they did it, I could do it, yep. you know, um, so, so and I've tapped into, into with all three of those people, like, like you know, personally, and actually, actually talked to them, or, um, spent time with them, them and they, they like, like mentored, mentored me in some type of way to inspire me to do more, you know, so, um, my list is growing, I'm actually looking for, like, a business coach or, uh, um, some, some type, type of mentor, mentor um, um, that, that, that I can, I can take along with, with me on my journey. Um, um, I haven't really found anybody just yet, yet. Um, but, but I, I meet a lot of people, people and I talk to a lot of people. I do a lot of networking, networking um, um, on my own just, just because, because I like to keep myself ready for battle. You know, like, get here. Stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. ready. <laughs> it's so hard. Yeah, like, big facts. You know, it's, it's hard, hard as an entrepreneur. Like, like you know, know and when you're in the growing stages, stages you, you don't know a lot. You know, you, know, you make, make a lot of mistakes. mistakes. Um, And all I want to do is to be the one. You know, I want to be the one that's doing exactly the things that are needed to elevate my business and to look on my business five years from now. And be like, oh my God, I cannot believe that I had so much struggle. struggle. Yeah. And that was so easy. Right. It's, you know? it's so worth it in the end. And like, everybody will see like the come up and the upside of it. They have no idea that we're How long? going into it afterwards. Yeah. And like, you mentioned something you said about like, you know, like you meet a lot of people and whatnot. And I feel like a lot of times, like, we get in a lot of rooms and we have a lot of opportunities to meet people and to, I mean, we love these word nowadays, network. So, yeah. let's say network. Um, but but they, they really be networking, Correct, right? exactly. So, like, what's your mindset and your approach to, like, networking? Because I think that's an area that a lot of people probably struggle in. It's like, Ooh, how yeah. do you get out of your, like, comfort zone or maybe even, like, maybe just your own lens is a feeling like you're inadequate to talk to somebody of this caliber. So, you just don't. And you just yeah. Don't what, what's your thought in like busting through that to network? It's hard. 
you know, especially if you already kind of feel like you lack the confidence. Um, I just say, like, show up as you. You know, so what if you feel like, you know, you don't know what to say, you don't know the type of words to use, you don't, you know, you don't feel like you belong at the table. Everybody belongs at the table. Everybody has a story. Everybody has an experience. Everybody has something to teach. You know, just because this person um seem like they be they might be better than you or make more money than you that you know they just did something that you haven't done you know and so i would just say show up ask questions even if they sound even if the questions sound stupid to you you know we mess up our words we throw our words we get nervous um but i actually do this all day every day i talk to people on the phone i talk to people i don't know um I really just use my personality and I pretend like I've known these people forever. Um, and you just literally show up, you introduce yourself, you know, you start off with what you know. My name is Kay, my name is Kalita, I have a sunglasses brand and I'm trying to do this. People won't, won't know nothing if you don't talk to them, you know, and you can talk to anybody. Like Brendan literally tell us every time we meet him, y'all can have anybody on y'all podcast. All you got to do is ask. Yep. You know, and I believe that. I really believe that just because of the people that I've met since I've lived in L.A., the people that I've touched, like, I've met so many people, y'all. Like, it's crazy, and it's, it's only crazy because it didn't happen before. You know, it's, it's, it's not crazy until it happened. You know, like, it's, it's not. Like, I tell y'all people, and they like, what? Hey, like, I was just there, yeah. you know, and, and, and I would say just research, research you know, in your area, like wherever you are, if, if you, you see business stuff happening, happening if you see whatever's happening, it doesn't matter if it's not even in your profession or whatever your category of sale, whatever you do, if it's a networking opportunity for you to meet people and talk to people, get in front of them people, just do it, you know, and, and just really just ask questions and talk like i know it's like hard if you say oh it's easier said than done but like when you have when you are not confident then it's hard because you feel like it takes an extra step but i mean honestly it really don't it don't it just if you want it bad enough you know just go out there and talk about what you do and why you want to do it you know that's all you got to do and people would love to hear your story yeah i absolutely agree i think a lot of times, too, um, especially when you're a an entrepreneur or a business owner who is really elevated and you, like, you know, we remember where we got it from, right? Like, you know, we like, I got it out the gutter, whatever it may be. Like, you know, people remember where they came from. So I genuinely believe that people have a heart to help. And, like, um, I mean, I feel like I talk about books a lot in here. Like, I've read a lot of books. Uh, I love to read. And so I read this one book called The Go-Giver. Um, and it's the red edition because it talks about, like, business and X, Y, and Z and whatnot. And literally, like, the book talks about how, like, sometimes you really got to give more value than anything else, right? Like, yeah. I genuinely believe that, like, a lot of business owners and entrepreneurs who have got it from nowhere and came up to this, they really have a heart to give. Like, they want to give value. They want to give advice. They want to, like, drop, like, the bars and whatnot. That's to hard. literally, Yeah, to help I'm other people help get it, too. Exactly. And so... Um, yeah, like it's it's definitely a matter of like getting out of your own way and out of your own head sometimes. Um, to like to make these connections, to make these moves and like just because you met them on Sunday and you don't ever work with them or see them again until two years down the line, that don't mean nothing. Like maybe that's just the time you met it, but like yeah. we don't know what like they don't know number one, but they spoke into your life that maybe made you make that shift. But also like you don't know where you can like reach back out. It's like, yo, I met you X, Y, and Z, but like, hey, this is what I'm doing now. Like just wanted to touch bases again. Like you don't know. People be out here. They really want to help. They have a heart to help. Like we just be putting up all these extra walls yes. and excuses. <laughs> Yes, like literally, we, are, we be doing it to ourselves. Um, and then speaking of helping people, um, you know, we're talking about entrepreneurship and working nine to five. I actually just dropped a new ebook. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, because I want to help y'all. You know, didn't nobody really help me. I had to like kind of learn these things on my own, and I'm still learning them. You know, and I'm still investing in myself, but. 
um, it's, it's a, a it's, this ebook, ebook is going to literally help you through um, working through your business and working your job, you know, and um, can't wait to you guys to tap into 20 entrepreneurship essentials while working nine, nine to five. Um, my goal is to literally drop all the gems that you kind of need to know to just manage your business while you're working, you know, and to and keep that blueprint forever. Hey guys, it's your second host, Kay, of We Got Ish to Say. I just wanted to say thank you so much for tuning in to this episode, Entrepreneurship and 9 to 5. As you know, I'm an entrepreneur and I also have a 9 to 5. Right now, I'm rocking my frames, everyday people, luxury frame wear. These are Carter's rimless frames. I also wanted to tell you guys, do not forget to hit that link below because I'm dropping an ebook. It is called 20 Entrepreneurship Essentials While Working 9 to 5. This book is going to help you hold yourself accountable. It's going to help you manage your business and it's going to help you scale your business. You know, some people now, they don't get back to quit the their jobs. Look, you, you know, some, some people never just work, work as an entrepreneur, entrepreneur full time. Mm -hmm. Regardless of they change jobs or whatever, but they have a primary job. job. You know, there's a lot of benefits for working in that five. Right. You know, a lot of benefits. You know, you know so, so if you get if you get if you get, get in a space where you feel like, like oh, I don't want to ever quit my job, but I do want my I'm, I want my business. business. You know, it's not my side hustle; it's, it's my second, second hustle. Mm. You know, mm. it's it's mm. my my streams of income. Yep. You know, and one of them can be working your nine to five, and that's okay. Um, but definitely tap into um twenty twenty entrepreneurship essentials while working nine to five. I promise you. Some, some gems, gems in it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave the link below so you guys can tap in. in and, and so um, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Brendan. Like I never, even, I mean, I thought about you know making an ebook, but I thought that was like a couple years from now. I didn't know I was going to be writing a book right now. But thank you. Right, literally, and that's what it's about. It's about taking that imperfect action like and that's the thing sometimes we put off so much like because yeah. we think that there's so much that goes into it and x y and like and honestly that's the power of a mentor yeah. like that is truly the power of a mentor it's like someone that who can just almost like breathe life into you like yeah. breathe life into like your business and what you're trying to do and like you know like it may come across like if you got a problem with authority and whatnot yeah. <laughs> it may come across as like them like beating up on you or bullying you or trying to like push you into areas that you're not ready for but you got to remember that sometimes people can see in you what you can't see in yourself mm -hmm. and so you gotta go for it like yeah. go for the goal you i i firmly believe that like Words are great, and like that is great to like speak words over our life and over our situations. Yes. And, and like I, I hear, I hear you. I hear what a lot of people are saying that they want and what they want to do, but I don't see the action behind it. And so sometimes you really got to put some action. But like even the Bible say, faith without works is dead. So <laughs> yes. I'm just saying, like sometimes you need a person that's gonna reinforce it for you. Absolutely, you can't do it by yourself. Absolutely, because we all need that kick in the butt sometimes. Yes. We be out here just sleeping on ourselves. Okay, okay. wow, cool, yeah. <laughs> cool. Um, Amanda. So, like, um, you know, you work, you you run your business. How do you, how do you give yourself a break? Like, when do you decide that? Okay, and stop, and pause, and personal life, and whatever else. Um. So. It, it, it's hard for me to say because I don't really know. I'm working on adopting the spirit of rest. I am really working on adopting. She is, she is. <laughs> I'm working on the job. And so I don't know. Like, that's hard for me. But the one thing I can say is, like, even, like, that kind of fueled me into, like, being more of an entrepreneur and, like, letting go of, like, you know, working the two jobs and doing all that I was doing was that um, I really, like, looked back and reflected on, like, my dad's life. And, like, obviously, you know, for, when you're, you're, you have two parents, so you're kind of a, a mixture of both your parents, no matter whether you know them or not. You know, whatever the yeah. situation may be in family dynamics, you're, you're a mixture of your two parents. And so I really sit back and um, watch and, like, you know, my dad passed away when I was 21. 
And like at that point, like it was, it was a lot. And I mean, I was 21, you're grown by the world standards, but you're not really grown. There's so much to do and figure out. And yeah. So like, you know, I, I had this good job, you know, like in the place of that to try and like, you know, recoup and all of that. But I really just realized that like, I sat back and I thought about it. Like my dad worked two jobs his entire life. His entire life, he has worked two jobs. Like he's been, he was a security guard. So he's on his feet. Like he never made time for himself. Like literally every holiday, every birthday, every, everything. You knew where to find my dad. He was at work. Like that was easy to figure out. Uh, He went to like his hometown of Louisiana once a year for like 4th of July for like four days. We'll come back and go right back to work. Wow. I just realized like I had to really stop and take a look at like my life. And I was like, yo, I'm literally repeating the cycle right now. And like, I'm lit, I'm walking in my dad's footsteps. Yeah. So like, my dad passed away at 65, yeah, yeah. no, 64 and a half, shorter, whatever your retirement age is, right? So like 64 and a half, um, or, yeah, whatever, passed away. <laughs> um, yeah, 64 and a half, passed away at retirement age. And so, um, you know, when you retire, that's when you're supposed to like live like your best life, right? Like you're supposed to settle down and rest. And, yeah, do all these things. And like he passed away when he got to that age. And it's like, because he never took care of himself earlier, you know, prior. Yeah. And so I just realized I was repeating the cycle. Um, and I was like, it has to stop. Like it has to stop with me. And so that kind of shifted my mindset to really like slow me down and stop. And even then, like, because it felt like I was picking up so many broken pieces after he passed away because I just wasn't prepared or ready for it and whatnot, yeah. I still was very much in like, gotta make it grind mode. Um, yeah. And it wasn't until I think what, maybe like two years ago when I turned 26, I was like, okay, this is almost like, not like a quarter life crisis, but it's almost like a quarter life crisis in a way. <laughs> and I was like, I gotta figure some stuff out and this ain't it and I can't keep working. And like it started to really yes. click for me. Calling on my warriors. So many of us have a story to tell. We have a time of triumph or a situation that seemed impossible to come back from, yet here you are. You're a champion and I commend you on that. I had that moment too when I was 21 and it took years, but I'm finally standing here as a warrior that broke down those walls and busted up the lens of things that no longer served me. Our stories may not be the same, but our victory is. Click the link in my bio and get a copy of my ebook, 10 Steps to Move Powerfully Through Morning, and join the growing community of warriors. See you on the other side. You know, like I said, this year has been huge in a lot of the changes in my life, but like it really all started to click for me there. And that's when I was like, I got to take back my life because I've truly been living my life for everybody else. Like all these years, like I've been living my life to like make sure that I did it right. Like I went to school, got a bachelor's and a master's degree. I had my jobs and never like I paid all my bills, had a million units. Like I did everything you're supposed to do in life to do it right. Right. And like, okay, I'm here and like, I'm happy, but like, I'm not like made it or like you know technically y'all success is your own definition like yes. don't let people define success for you that's number one yes. but like if by the world standards i might not be successful but like i feel more successful now than i did following and living for everybody else that. and so um yeah reset has really just like i still don't really know rest so we're still working <laughs> we're still praying over it um, but it, it really does like this, this kind of like settle down and wind down. It really does come now from just like, I was really praying about it and like changed my circle and whatnot. So I have amazing friends like Kalita here where like we go out on the weekends and we do things that really do get me to stop. Granted, um, yes. I was definitely in the club uploading some stuff into <laughs> my Google Drive the other night. like that. Like that. Like that. I was definitely sure. uploading some stuff from my Google Drive. Yeah, and, uh, yeah but whatever. Like Either way, it's still like taking those moments to like be with friends and really get out and do things that like I didn't really used to do. Um, I'm like kind of sort of not really dating somebody right now. We don't know. But low key in some <laughs> ways. <laughs> but low key in some ways too. Like, um, he's almost like my safe haven. Like to the sense where like that's the only time that I feel like I can like let it all go. Like it's just calm and I can just sit and be and like granted when there's a lot on my mind, there's a lot going on. I'm still trying to get work done and he'd be knowing he's like, damn, like show his way up here. Can you like yeah. drink some whiskey and sit down? Like, yeah. <laughs> but like, Relax. yeah, but those have really just been like, it's really finding the right people um, that you can, that can like get you out of that, that mindset and get you out of that, like constant go, go, go. Cause I yeah. mean, if you are 
from LA, you know we are a go, go, go city. We just go, oh, yeah. we run all over everybody and everything. People can't drive out here, so uh, we go. If you're from somewhere else, there's like more of a spirit of rest there. I swear yeah. to God. So, um, yeah, it's just, it's about finding your circle, about finding the things that make you relax. Yes. <laughs> There you, you go, go. find things that, that make you relax. relax. Yeah. I love that. Because, you know, you it's, it's, it's a community. You can't really do it by yourself. Big um, I'm a little different. I listen to my body. Mm-hmm. You know, that's... I respect that so much about you because I don't know what that means. No, she do not know what it means. And I tell her all the time, Amanda, did you eat today? Amanda, did you stop today? Amanda, how long, how long did you sleep today? Like, I'm, I won't say that I'm a big sleeper. But, but I, I do need my eight hours. hours. At, at least eight. eight. I mean, not not at least eight, eight. sorry. Max eight, eight. Oh, at least six. Is. You know, I, I have to. Because, because if I don't, I'm, I'm no good. good. Um, so, so I, I do take, take breaks, breaks, I rest. Um, I, I try, try to make Saturdays, Saturdays my days where I don't do nothing. Because Saturday is a fun day. You know, Sunday is the Sabbath and you're supposed to rest, but... I'm an entrepreneur and I and I gotta make sure I'm ready for Monday. So I'm doing like cleaning the house or whatever, you know, and that's kind of relaxing too. But also like I can still do some other stuff for the business or if I can go out and skate or whatever I want to go do. Um, but Saturdays I try to pretty much make that as like my day. And since I'm in a relationship, um, my girlfriend, her job is a little different. She works different hours for me, but we try to make that time to do something um yeah or you know i try to rest by cutting my day at a certain time at work and giving myself a couple hours to reset get my second win whether that's like taking a shower going to the gym um i might watch an hour of tv um you know i try to do something for me you know because i will feel I noticed that, like, if I don't, I would feel like I need a treat. You know, I don't know if y'all understand that. Like, I feel like I need something. You know, like, it's like a little kid. Like, they need, a, they want a treat for doing X, Y, and Z. Um, and a lot of the times, as run ups, we always be like, I deserve to do this. Like, yeah, you want, you deserve to do it. But also, if you ain't doing what you were supposed to do, why you think you deserve something? Um, <laughs> But, but no, no, like, like seriously, seriously, I I try to do a hard stop and then a reset. reset. So uh, I might, you know, go outside, take a walk. walk. But, but I definitely have to take a break because I get overloaded and then I get overwhelmed. And then I didn't work myself. I don't want to do it because I'm so tired. You know, I'm I'm a little different from Amanda. I have to take a break. I can't. I can't just keep going, 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 going. Because then, like, like I'm going to do that, that and, and then the next day, I'm going to fall short, short somewhere. Right. And, and I'm, I'm not going to be no good. good. I'm not. That's what I'm saying. I appreciate you know. Like, I appreciate <laughs> that because I don't, I don't have that quality of that asset yet. Um, and so, no, I absolutely respect that because, like, that is. Like, it's huge. And, like, literally, I'm like, you. Like, you. No, and see, look, you. I want to be like, 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 <laughs> like, opposites attract. <laughs> We balance each other out. This is why we came together, because clearly. But, like, um, that is. That's something that, like, I absolutely can, like, see and respect in her. Because, yeah, I know. I ain't got that spirit on me. Like, I know I don't. But I respect it because I understand the value of it. Like, I understand how important that is. And, like, I am the first person to be like, yo, we are there are people out here and look we all built different we are yeah. built differently like not everybody is built for this right like not everybody is built to live their life like on a treadmill like me <laughs> not everybody is on built to be, <laughs> right and not everybody is like built to like live their life the way k runs it so right. like, you really got to find what works for you but truly listening to your body is important because y'all when i tell you that i am not the age that my knees and my side <laughs> feel i promise you i am not and so do listen to your body my because <laughs> 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 and i'm gonna throw some tiger bomb on it and still be back at the gym in 30 minutes so <laughs> Amanda, how old are your knees my knees are probably about 42. <laughs> I'm <laughs> so Don't judge me. I played basketball. I ran track. I 
was a jumper yeah. on top of running track, like yeah. all the jumps, the high, the triple, and yeah. the long. Like, look, my niece took a beat. Don't come for them. They did. They did. They did. They did. Yeah. <laughs> and you can continue to do those things, so you know. Yeah. They 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 changed, and you know I get it. I get it. But um, that's good though. You know that's good that you're able to know your goals and know the things that you have to do and be able to hold yourself accountable and get them done. You know, that's a, you know, both are, both of the skills that, both are the things that we bring to the table is amazing. And, you know, um, I'm grateful that you allow me to see something differently, um, in the way that I do what I do, you know, and that's, that's, that's a beautiful thing. Um, I wanted to ask you, um, Another question. question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. I'm dead. Um, how do you like? Uh, how do you pay yourself? Um. So I definitely follow. Um. Like, are we talking about money wise? Like, yeah. Like, how do you yeah. pay yourself for your business? So I definitely am a. Um, like I follow kind of like the rules of like money per se or whatever. Um, I'm like the 10% to ties first. Like you give what's to God first. Um, and that's from both my personal paycheck and my business. Cause I feel like God is in my business too and has allowed me to have it. So I pay 10% from both sides, um, first. And then I pay another 10% to myself first. Always pay yourself first, especially if you are working on a savings. Um, paying yourself first is huge to save, you know, the debt, all of that. Um, and then the rest is kind of like the money that's there. So um, I feel like having that money go into my business, one, like that's paying myself either way because I'm reinvesting that into my business to continue to grow it and produce new things. Um, and then my paycheck side, I mean, shoot, we got to handle business. Like, I don't play about the money. Like, my paycheck hit, and like, even if it looked crazy, there are days like my paycheck will hit, and after I've dis distributed out everything and like paid my bills and handled my business, my bank account may not look as pretty anymore, but I'm like, Hey, but I still can handle, so I'm good. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> That's gross. Yeah. You know. What about you? What does yours look like? Um, I'm, I'm actually, actually just starting to, to pay myself. myself. Um, um, I really didn't before. before. I, I do have, have a business bank account, um, but, but I didn't really pay myself. myself. Mm -hmm. um, so, so I'm I'm, I'm trying, trying to get into that mentality, mentality of like paying myself, myself and do that. I mean, I set aside like my savings and stuff for my when I work, and then of course I pay my bills, um, and then I have leisure money that I like to use to just do whatever I want. Um, but I don't pay my I, I haven't really paid myself a lot through my business um, just because I'm just kind of like this is the business money mm -hmm. and that's just how I kind of see it like these are the operating expenses these are the things that I have to pay for um and I, I don't pay myself or these are the people that I need to pay for whatever um but I definitely want to get uh, a system going where I do pay myself because I do want to reward myself right you know for what I do um, because I am an employee of my business, even though I'm the owner, I'm a lay employee too. So, yeah, you might have to help me with that. Yeah, girl, something you already know. Uh, yeah, I can't wait to get all that financial, uh, all that financial help. Like, I'm, I'm super excited. Yeah, y'all literally tap in. Like, it is free to have a conversation. It is free to figure out. The, just the tools and the tips and the tricks and the hacks that like, like I said, like, you know, the 1%, they're, they're, they're great. And they just keep getting better. Yeah, they really like, they got it all. Yeah. And so, yeah, like, I'm definitely here to, you know, put a stop to like the lack of financial literacy that like, we just, like, it's just not there. We don't have it out there. It's not taught in schools. And so absolutely, like, have a conversation with me anytime. Like, schedule it, hit me up. If y'all follow me on social media, hit the link in my bio. There's a calendar. You can put yourself on my calendar. We can have a conversation. Like, absolutely. I love that. I'm going to have to get on your calendar. Look, y'all you, heard me talking about calendars now. <laughs> get on the calendar. <laughs> and Katie, you always show up to these podcasts, Fresh AF. Like, what are, what, are, what are we wearing today? Who is this? What is this? <laughs> Oh, you know, I'm just fresh because I got on these, you know, fresh frames, you know what I'm saying? Uh, this is a little something, something. I don't even know the name of these yet, honestly. Um, I got a photo shoot coming up. 
Um, what should I name them? Hey, y'all leave leave it in the comments. Drop some names in the comments. So, check them out. Look at the oh, frames. Look oh, at the colors. They got the little nagrams on the side. Oh. Like, they fresh. They fresh. They fresh. What y'all feeling? What y'all feeling? Let her know in the yeah. comments what y'all feeling. You know, I like, I'm, I'm liking that love vibe, sure, though. I'm telling you, like, like you know, get on the vibe. Like, you know, <laughs> no, it's a vibe. Like, you know, it's, it's always a vibe. That's, that's why we named our podcast when we named it because yeah. we, we we're both a vibe. Yeah. What we talk yeah. about is always a vibe. Um. <laughs> Look, you know, no, it's just no this what it is. <laughs> exactly. He's <laughs> silly. Uh, but I think I asked for me. Um, I don't know. Is there any other things that we need to ask each other? I don't know. I think we. I mean, I think we really covered like being both. You know, like we do both. <laughs> we do both. O A L. Both. <laughs> We really do. So um, it absolutely can be done. You know, all of our, it's crazy, but all of our episodes, I think they kind of tie into one another. So for sure, if you have not watched some of the past episodes, go back, check them out, see what we're talking about. Um, but yeah, like, you know, a lot of our stuff ties into one another. And again, it really is like mindset, community, like all the reasons why we even, yeah, all the reasons why we even came together to create this podcast are the very things that are kind of like, you know, the beginning, the glues to put all the pieces together. Yes. So um, don't ever like count out. <laughs> don't count out just mentorship. Don't count out yes. your mindset. Don't count out like who your friends are. Yes. Like don't discredit that stuff and chalk it up to just being little things. Like those are huge because they add up. Um, and they all can be resources for you, um, you know, in entrepreneurship, uh, whatever you're doing. Oh, another pr- and very important thing about working a nine to five and being an entrepreneur tell your colleagues about their business yes don't be afraid to talk about your business um i used to be afraid to talk about my business at work because you might feel like they won't care or they might think like oh you don't have time to work because you have a business like don't let them make you feel like that right because, because that's, that's just another man, that's, that's just another, another mindset that, that you're putting into place. place. Mm-hmm. Um, if, if you feel like you need to be secretive about your business, business maybe you don't need to work, work for that company. company. Mm-hmm. You, you know, know, I love my company because all a lot of us have businesses, and a lot of them don't are not afraid to talk about the businesses that they have. Um, and yes, we work, but we have a business, and we know when we're on. We're, we're focused focus on what we work, what we're, we're focusing on. But when we're off, that's, that's my leisure time. time. That's, that's what I'm doing. doing. Right. Um. But, but yeah, talk, talk about your business, business because, because your colleagues want to know. Um. Of course, if you got colleagues that are haters, they may not. Right. You know. Maybe if your business is not, you know, PG or something, maybe not. Like literally, I think, like truly, like I really think you should hype yourself up. Um, if you are a business owner who has a nine to five, if you are an entrepreneur who has a nine to five, because whether people want to see that on a resume or not, like I know there's like proper resumes and whatnot, but whether people want to see that on a resume or not, that absolutely says something about you as an individual, somebody who can handle building a business from the ground up, whatever the case may be, either way, somebody who can handle working a nine to five and you know learning the ropes of this job but also having a business that you were building that you were promoting that you're doing all the things that you need to do for that says a lot about you that's a lot about your tenacity yeah. a lot about your just your will your ability yep. like that says a lot about you so don't just credit like literally these are the small things that i think we don't think about um and so yeah don't don't discredit that y'all like that's that's huge yeah <laughs> yourself up be your own Hot man, man. Yeah, I'm gonna talk about that in another episode. I got this book. <laughs> it's called the it's called the hype book. I'm gonna talk about it in another episode. Somebody remind me. Somebody tag me. Remind me that. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm ready, ready for the hype book. book. That's, That's what's up. up. There, it's lit. So yeah, absolutely. All right. All right. We got some value from today. Yeah. It would be wise of us to leave some of the people that we talked about that are our mentors that have been really instrumental in our life. We will leave um, their handles yes. in the description box. So yes. make sure you check that out. And yeah, tap in with us, with any of them. Yes. Um, absolutely. Make sure you like, comment, talk to us, bro. We want to hear from you. Subscribe yes. to our channel. Subscribe, <laughs> hit us up, follow us on all socials. Comment. 
Yes. We want y'all to end. Y'all better talk to us. Like, look, I'm well, putting on I'm putting on my big girl now. Y'all better talk to us. I want to hear something. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> and make sure y'all follow us on um, our Instagram. Um, you can find me at everydaypeopleworld.com. I'm on all social medias. Um, and you can find my homegirl, Amanda. Yeah, I can be found at smile underscore for underscore Amanda or my business page at love vibes. It's actually at love.vibes. Um, L O V, no E. Um, and of course, you can find the both of us, the both of us, <laughs> and we got ish to say hi on Instagram. We got ish to say number two, not CEO, hi on Twitter. Absolutely. <laughs> Hit us up. We would love to hear from you all. We want to see you on the next episode. Stay tuned for all that we got coming. You guys, please, please, please do not forget to tap in with Kay. Got that big energy coming with that new Eva. Hey, I got you. I'm so excited. So, and I'm a I got you. I got you. I got you. Maybe you're just, just starting your business. business. Maybe, Maybe you're thinking you about starting a business. business. Maybe, Maybe you already have a business. And, and you, you just, just need to make sure, sure you are on the right track. track. You know what I'm saying? saying? Like, we all can use a refresher. Um. You, you know, know it's, it's for everybody. You know, you know it's, it's gonna, gonna be a blueprint guide, guy, and I got you. you. I'm gonna get it. So, <laughs> <laughs> yes, like for sure, be overload. It's overload. <laughs> I, I wanted, wanted to, to say, say something, something so important, important but I don't remember. And, and I, I guess it wasn't important because I don't remember. Oh, oh. So we need to run it back, run it back, run it back, run it back. back, run back. Run back. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, uh, in this episode. episode we, we have, have a keyword. Keyword. <laughs> keyword. Let's see if y'all really stay to the end. Our keyword is gonna be. <laughs> and the keyword is important because uh, we have a giveaway. And you're gonna get a little bundle, you know, you're gonna get a little love vibe, you're gonna get a little everyday people, you know, like everyday vibe. You know, we got a little everyday vibe bundle for y'all. So, uh, uh, I don't know, 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 Are we dropping in this episode, okay? Yeah. I, I mean, mean, you can wait till the next episode. episode. Nah, I'm going to give it to them. <laughs> let's see. Let's see who's stuck around. So, the key word is instrumental. Ooh. Instrumental. Instrumental. If you are here still with us, send us a DM. Head over to our social at We Got Ish to Say Pod and send us the keyword instrumental. Hit us in the DM. If you stay, stay here, here to the, the end for the keyword, keyword you will receive an everyday vibe bundle hey, that will be packaged by, by me and Amanda, Amanda yours truly. <laughs> Bye. Bye, y'all. <laughs>